CGEN is an entirely iconic project. Installed in Strangford Lock, at the time it was the largest commercial turbine uh, ever to be installed anywhere in the world. It became really a, a symbol for the entire marine energy uh, industry in the United Kingdom. CGEN was a twin rotor 1.2 megawatt tidal turbine. There's two things unique about CGEN. Um, firstly, all the power conversion uh, took place inside the structure. Secondly, it was surface piercing, which meant the crossbeam had a, a lift mechanism. So you could board the turbine, press a button, and the crossbeam would raise, and you could work on the powertrains and anything else that needed surfacing. It went on to achieve, by far and away, uh, the most generation that uh, any tidal turbine had ever exported to the, uh, uh, to the grid. But more importantly, it, it clocked up about 10,000 operational hours. So for all of us that were aspiring um, to develop technology at that scale, they effectively set the bar. The decommissioning of CGEN is, is an icon in itself. It, you know, to see a, a project as important as CGEN go through its full life cycle and actually be successfully then decommissioned on budget in the time frame we all expected with no issues whatsoever. So when CGEN was installed, consideration had to be given to the decommissioning rather than just the installation at the time. There was an environmental monitoring program in place um, to cause minimal impact to the environment and uh, decommissioning the turbine uh, fulfills that original obligation. CGEN was decommissioned in three phases. Uh, the initial phase was started in May 2016, which was the removal of the powertrains. Uh, these were lowered onto a flat top barge and removed from the lock uh, in the space of a few days. Second phase of uh, CGEN decommissioning took place at the end of 2018. This involved the removal of the top sides, lift legs, cross beam and internal power conversion equipment. The final phase of CGEN decommissioning was in July 2019. Um, this involved the cutting of the four quadrupod feet. As soon as CGEN was clear of the bottom, it then floated back up into the lock. Uh, the reason for this was uh, further sea fastening was required before it could uh, venture out into the Irish Sea. But the importance of going up the lock first was to get it out of the strong tidal flow that is seen in the Narrows. We had to spend as little time there as possible and the whole operation was planned around the one hour that we had to actually lift the structure and get it up the lock. The typical decommissioning processes always throw surprises at you because no one has an absolute innate knowledge of what was put in and what's waiting for you when you go to get it out after you know, X number of years underwater. Um, so they did find some challenges in cutting the legs. Um, there was uh, not enough grout in one of the legs and they broke a few blades. These sort of things we allow for. Um, they're fairly small, they may sound dramatic, and they cost a little bit of time. So what was really impressive on the day when we came to do the lift, everything went exactly to plan, exactly uh, as we wanted it to go. So all the years and months of planning uh, finally came to that point and we had superb support from our principal contractor, Keenbore More Lift. It's actually with a tinge of sadness that we reflect on the fact that uh, CGEN has now been decommissioned. Uh, it really uh, has become such an iconic image for the entire industry. However, there has been a huge amount to learn actually through the decommissioning process. And in some respects, it marks a wonderful milestone for the tidal power industry because it shows now the first uh, full life cycle uh, of a commercial scale tidal power turbine. All of the learnings that have happened over the last 10 years taken from CGEN have gone on to feed other, other big tidal energy projects. Lessons of reliability, uh, performance, efficiency, CGEN was a, a, a bedrock for that. So decommissioning proves uh, a number of key points. Um, first and foremost, um, that you are able to return the seabed uh, after you have obviously established a turbine there back to its natural state. Uh, second of all, of course, it proves up the cost of decommissioning. And this just once again speaks to the fact that we're maturing as an industry and we now know exactly what full life cycle costs are going to be. But of course, uh, finally, it provides the overall environmental impact report of what uh, multiple years of operation can provide. Um, and it's been given a clean bill of health. I'm very passionate about off our offshore operational capabilities. Um, it's been close to my heart since day one and, and I go offshore still with the team. I, I just think there's not another turbine supplier in the world that knows what we know as a turbine supplier and a system supplier about the offshore world. We are the best in the world at what we do. I think it's important to highlight the achievements of uh, two different teams as part of this decommissioning process. Um, the first one is actually Marine Current Turbines, the original company and developers uh, of the CGEN project. They were absolutely at the vanguard of marine energy um, and the development of marine energy technologies. If it wasn't for Marine Current Turbines and later their owners Siemens, uh, I don't think the industry would be in the mature state that it currently is today. 
Uh, so the fact that we ended up acquiring them a few years ago and integrating into their team is a source of great pride for us, but of course also uh, a source of, uh, of wonderful knowledge and continues to be. Um, second of all, uh, it's really important to herald the uh, achievements of the Atlantis offshore construction team. I mean, not only can we install a turbine now in 90 minutes offshore, not only can we install your cables, uh, we also maintain turbines and of course now we can show complete life cycle by removing and decommissioning uh, turbines. Um, and the fact that we were able to conduct such a large offshore construction job on time, but more importantly, very, very safely, uh, I think is uh, a great feather in their cap. CGEN served its purpose. Um, it's done what it needed to do. Obviously, it was a, a big part of a lot of engineers' lives for many years. Um, a huge amount of effort went into installing it, maintaining it, keeping it running, improving it. To take it away finally after all the years is, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite, a, quite a sad moment.